Hello everyone, this is Dr. Pooja Johari and this video of mine is specially for those students who are doing their graduation and they are interested in doing their masters in biochemistry from AIMS. And it's been like uh, five, six months. I got so many messages, so many phone calls from the students all over India. They just wanted to know the syllabus, ki how they have to prepare. So basically, beta, first of all, I would just like to mention about the eligibility requirement. Any graduate can apply for master's in biochemistry from AIMS. Okay, so regarding the syllabus, but somehow I gathered something from the net and uh, this uh, video will basically give a brief idea how to prepare for it because you people are studying biochemistry or chemistry from your class 9th and 10th because if we talk about biochemistry it is basically the chemistry which is occurring inside the body okay so let's quickly see what are the topics first of all essential molecules of life okay if we talk about essential molecules of life Foundation of biochemistry. What is the difference between macromolecules? What is the difference between micromolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, amino acids and vitamins? Because these all you have studied. So what are carbohydrates? You should know the definition. You should know how to classify them. What are lipids? What are amino acids? What are vitamins? Right. So what is the function of these vitamins? Because we all know that we are having carbohydrates, fats, proteins are the basic substrates and vitamins and minerals as the supplements. So this will be covered in the syllabus. Right. Then moving on proteins and the enzymes. Now proteins and enzymes may you all know that proteins are what they are the polymers of the amino acids and all enzymes are proteins except your ribozyme. So basically you have to focus on the introduction to peptides. What are peptides? How proteins are produced? How the proteins are extracted? This is salting in, salting out with ammonium sulfate. Then separation techniques will include in, uh, introduction to chromatography and electrophoresis. This is a very interesting topic, I should say, which all of you have been studying studying in your graduation. Ki separation techniques, mein, what are the different type of chromatographic techniques? What are the different type of electrophoresis? What are cation exchangers? What are anion exchangers? Like that. Then protein structure database. Primary, secondary, tertiary, Jaise if we want to study the structure, we should know ki tertiary structure kya hota hai. And if we know about tertiary structure, we should know what is the difference between X-ray crystallography, what is nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR, so like that. Then enzyme inhibition, relationship diseases, therapy and diagnosis, features of enzyme catalysis and involvement of coenzymes. Coenzymes are very, very important because see, this is just, I'm just discussing the syllabus with you people and I will be taking the classes also on a regular basis. So you people will have an idea ki what core areas you have to fix because now the exam will be there. Hardly two, three months are left for your entrance exam. So I will be focusing on major, major areas. Suppose if I talk about coenzymes, so I will be giving you the name of the reaction and the coenzyme for that. Then metabolism of amino acids, lipids and nucleotides. And you can see that these are the topics. Because you know, if we talk about metabolism of carbohydrates, you should be familiar with glycolysis. PCA and obviously the link reaction then metabolic disorders are related to this so little bit you have to study and rest obviously once you clear the exam you are going to study it once you are there in your master's course right then degradation of purines and pyrimidines is equally important you know purines are n9 glycosides if i talk about adenine and guanine structures you already know Yahabe, once you get into masters then you will be studying how they are synthesized pyrimidines thymine is there cytosine is there uracil is there so little bit about them then cell biology membrane introduction to cell biology tools of cell biology these are the important topics because cell is the structural and functional unit of life and when you are going to study the processes you should be able to differentiate those processes are occurring in which organelle they say if we talk about mitochondria to mitochondria jaise hum kehte they are the powerhouses of the cell like that why because atp synthesis occurs there most of the oxidation occurs there 
ठीक है सिमिलरली साइटोप्लाज्म इज देयर स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इज देयर रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इज देयर देन स्ट्रक्चर्स फीचर्स सेल साइकिल सेल डेथ एंड रिन्यूअल एंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू बायोमेम्ब्रेन्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट इज देयर when we are having carbohydrates we are having proteins we are having because everything you have covered in your graduation right then human physiology and hormones hormones are the first messengers all of you are familiar with this isn't it homeostasis now cardiovascular physiology respiration renal physiology growth factors pancreatic everything you have studied and once you clear this exam then you will be studying the upgraded version of this this is the difference but you have to prepare this right then gene organization may you are going to study the structure of dna the genes and genomic organization replication of dna recombination molecular basis and regulation of gene expression replication aap logo ne already graduation mein padhi hai what is this process what are the enzymes what is dna repair agar dna repair nahi hota hai what are the diseases which are related to dna repair and all that stuff gene expression gene expression mein you are going to study the operon model lac operon is there trypt operon is there right so these are the questions then then comes concept in genetics जेनेटिक्स कभी पीछा नहीं छोड़ेगी इज इंट इट जेनेटिक्स यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन डिटेल अब हम लोगों ने क्या पढ़ा है इंट्रोडक्शन टू मॉडल ऑर्गेनिजम्स मेंडलिज्म मेंडल यू नो फादर ऑफ जेनेटिक्स तो यू शुड बी एबल टू नो वॉट आर द थ्री लॉज गिवन बाय मेंडल जैसे लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन वॉज देयर लॉ ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट असॉटमेंट लॉ ऑफ डोमिनेंस राइट देर इज वन नॉन मेंडेलियन इनहेरिटेंस ऑल्सो सो दीज आर द थिंग्स एक्सटेंशन ऑफ मेंडेलिज्म नॉन मेंडेलियन इनहेरिटेंस population genetics inheritance of complex traits and genetics of bacteria and viruses so you know transformation kya hota hai transduction kya hota hai conjugation hota hai so it's basically the revision of what all you have studied in your graduation right and then genetic engineering the core of medicine nowadays recombinant dna technology cloning vectors for prokaryotes whether you are using plasmids whether you are using phagmids whether you are using Uh, you uh, yeast artificial chromosomes or yaks right then joining of how dna fragments are joined and what is the application of genetic engineering as in biotechnology and obviously dna sequencing just a sanger ka method you have studied so this is the syllabus and the last but not the least is immunology you should be knowing that what is primary immune response secondary immune response पैसिव इम्यूनिटी एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी वैक्सीन्स क्या होती है डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वैक्सीन्स एंड इम्यूनोजेंस एंटीबॉडी स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ट्रांसप्लांटेशन इम्यूनोलॉजी इन वैक्सीन्स एंड एंटीबॉडीज इन डायग्नोसिस एंड थेरेपी राइट सो दिस इज द जस्ट ऑफ वॉट ऑल यू आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर टू अपियर इन योर मास्टर्स एग्जाम इन बायो केमिस्ट्री right and if we see the pattern there are total of 90 objective mcqs theek hai for every correct answer one mark will be awarded and for every wrong answer a negative marking on 0.33 marks will be deducted and the duration of the entrance exam is 1 hour and 30 minutes and it will be a computer based exam in the english language right so this is what all i could gather from my reliable sources from internet and all so this is my channel and all of you if you liked it like the information like it then you can subscribe to my channel also and if you guys have any problem related to you, this masters course don't hesitate to ask me and i will be taking classes on a regular basis on my youtube channel only covering small small topics so that you will also have a kind of this thing that you are preparing something right so i hope this video of mine was helpful to all of you so wishing you guys all the best for your future endeavors thank you so much